Israel is at war. More than 250 Israelis died in a surprise large-scale attack by the Palestinian militant group Hamas on Saturday. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to reduce the Hamas group's Gaza hideouts to rubble. The escalation follows months of rising violence, mostly in the West Bank, and tensions around Gaza's border and at contested holy sites in Jerusalem. Now, in latest footage shared by the Israeli army, multiple targets were destroyed in the Gaza Strip. This is part of Israel's Operation Iron Swords, launched in retaliation of attacks from Gaza. Israel's military said it had warned residents to evacuate before targeting the multi-story buildings used by Hamas. Israel's state-run electricity company cut the power supply to Gaza as army flares lit up the night sky. Now, Gaza officials, on the other hand, said intense airstrikes on the coastal enclave brought the Palestinian death toll to at least 232, with nearly 1,700 injured. The war continued overnight. Different sightings of burnings and explosions taking, taking place all through the night as we bring you continuous coverage on this. Now, the conflict continues to spread as Israel fired artillery in southern Lebanon. Israel said mortar shells were fired from Lebanon into northern Israel and that their strikes were retaliatory. The Israeli army said it was still engaged in live gun battles in a string of Israel locations overnight. Gun battles raged into, night, into the night between Israeli forces and hundreds of Hamas fighters in at least 22 Israeli locations, including at least two where gunmen were holding hostages. More than a thousand people in Israel were wounded by gunshots or, or more than 5,000 incoming rockets. Hamas launched its multi-pronged attack at dawn half a century after the outbreak of the 1973 Arab-Israeli war. Israeli Prime Minister said, and I'm quoting here, I'm telling the people of Gaza, get out of there now, because we're about to act everywhere with all our force. Netanyahu added that we'll strike them to the bitter end and average with force this black day they brought on Israel and its people. Strong words from the Israeli Prime Minister as Israel launches its attack now. Is the Islamist group started the multi-pronged attack on Israel around 3.30 GMT. This is 3.30 AM with thousands of rockets aimed as far as Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Some rockets bypassed the Iron Dome defense system, the famed Iron Dome of Israel, and it hit buildings thereafter. Hamas fighters traveling in ground vehicles, motored paragliders and boats breached Gaza's security barrier and attacked nearby Israeli towns and military posts. They opened fire on residents and passerbys. Hamas labeled its attack operation as Al-Aqsa flood and called on resistance fighters in the West Bank as well as in Arab and Islamic nations to join the battle. Hamas chief Ismail Haniye said the group was on the verge of a great victory. As Hamas celebrates in northern Gaza on Saturday, hundreds of people fled their homes, carrying food and blankets. Violence also erupted across the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, with five Palestinians killed and 120 wounded in clashes with Israeli forces and settlers.